Okay, folks, uh, this will be my second uh, installment on the GPS. Um, today I'm going to teach you how you can use your GPS in conjunction with Google Earth. So um, we, we have to do the basics first. Um, okay, we'll start with Google Earth. We'll open that. So when you first download Google, you may or may not um, have already changed it, but this is for the people that want to know how to do it from the beginning. When you first download it, it's usually, if you look down in the right bottom right hand corner, you'll see the numbers error in easting, uh, sorry, longitude latitude. So we need to change that into Universal Transverse Mercator or UTM. So to start, if you look at the top there where it says on the top left you'll see it's got file edit view tools add help you click on tools and you scroll down to options and then this window will open um, here's where you change it if you prefer feet and miles or whatever but I'm metric um, you change it here to Universal Transverse Mercator. So you click on that, click Apply, and close. Now you'll see down the bottom, it's in UTM. That was quite simple. So now we need to go to the actual GPS unit. Um, we need to change the datum, unless you've already done it, on the GPS handheld unit to uh, the same datum as what Google Earth uses, so everything matches. They use WGS 1984 or WGS 84, which stands for World Geodetic System 1984. So that's what we'll do next. Okay, now we've got the GPS turned on. So if you remember from the first video, Using the page, all quick, one goes right, one goes left. You press page and highlight main menu. You see this. You can already see that setup's highlighted. So you press enter. Right, and we go to this page. Now using the big rocker in the middle, Highlight, position format, and then you press enter. Right, there you can see the top, it's in degrees, minutes, and seconds, or degrees. I don't understand that because I don't use it. But you go to the bottom one, it says map spheroid. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Map datum. Press enter. Now, you have a look using the big rocker you um, if you can see all oh, these there are hundreds on there or oh, maybe not hundreds but there's a hundred on there so what basically it does if you're using a map like a paperboard map you look in the, um, in the you know the bottom corner of the map and it's got the legend and all that It'll tell you which one that, that corresponds to that map. But because we're not using a map, we're using Google Earth as our map. We want to match it with Google Earth. So everything that you do on here, there you go. World Geodetic System 1984. Highlight it, press enter. Now you can see it there, WGS84. Okay, yep, sorry, using the rocker, highlight the format at the top, you press enter. Okay, the next thing you do, so I guess in whatever country you're in, Oh. 
too far. There it is, UTM, UPS. Press enter. So now you press the page button again to take you back. Keep going to map page. Now everything should be, well to double check, what we'll do is we'll press, go through the page, back to the satellite page. So you go. And there we go. Universal Transverse Mercator. Now everything should be, or will be, will match Google Earth. And um, in my next video, I'll teach the very basics, how to find a spot you might want to walk to on Google Earth and how to mark a waypoint and then how to transfer it to your GPS unit. I hope that was helpful. Um, stay tuned, I'm, I've got a bit of time on my hands now, so I'll keep producing these videos, if they're any good, that is. Okay, bye for now.